Hi everyone, welcome back. This time I'll be covering the advanced spectrum analysis function of the MSO19. Last time we covered the basic spectrum analysis function of the MSO19. This time we'll be using those functions and a few hidden features to perform frequency response analysis of a circuit. This is the test circuit I've built. It's basically, you know, you have an inductor, two capacitors, it's an LC circuit. To make it easier to probe, I mounted, mounted it on a perf board, so it's easier for me to probe without knocking things off. And to perform, perform a, um, this is basically what a circuit looks like. You got, you got an inductor, you got a cap, and then you got another cap to ground, and then we'll take, we'll take our measurement right here. And inbound, we'll be sending something like a mega signal. Um, let's see what it does and um, what it looks like on SPICE. So, on this SPICE analysis, it shows that this wave, this circuit runs pretty flat. And at 100K, it has a peak, dips down a little bit, and goes out to 1 meg. Typically, to do a measurement like that on a, um, on a circuit, well, normally you take go like this. You you um, you take a signal generator. You input into your circuit, and you do a you either do a peak measurement or you can do a spectral analysis measurement, and then you sweep it. You sweep from point to point to point or across all frequency bands, and then you write it down, and then you plot it out. It takes a long time. So there, another technique work one can do is we can send a a broadband white noise into the circuit by pumping into the circuit and then whatever comes out on the other end you take a measurement and that's the technique we'll be doing today one of the hidden features in the MSO19 it's a white noise generator and it comes out on the out connector to turn it on you go to setup and you go to Miscellaneous, out connector mode, turn out white noise. Normally you leave it a trigger out. If you leave it a white noise, you're going to end up not being able to trigger anything. Go to white noise, done. So now if we have it on auto mode and we probe the 19, the center of the 19, you see we have a noise come. You have a broadband white noise. This noise runs up to. It's being clocked by a hundred meg clock, and you can you can see it's pretty even going across. So what we'll do now is we're gonna send the signal into our circuit, and let's see what it looks like. One thing we want to do is we want to take a baseline. So what are, we see what the signal looks like inbound. So I'm, I've clipped it on the inbound outside of the BNC. Go to the FFT. Do this power spectrum. And let's see. And then it's going all over the place. So what we'll do is we're going to turn on average. We're going to zero out. We're going to reset average turn out the actual waveform. I have a set for hemming. I was just going to let this run for a bit. Okay, that seems to be running enough times. And what we're going to do is we're going to take we're going to take the um, memory and we're going to store average to memory. So now average is stored to memory. Now let's go to the output of the circuit. Let's take average and reset it again. Right away you can start seeing that there's a peak somewhere around here. It's about it's roughly ninety six kilohertz or hundred close to hundred kilohertz. And then we got a drop coming out. 
And if you actually, if you look at the sing the um, the spy simulation, we got a peak, and then we got a dip, and it stays below the inbound signal. And that's exactly what it looks like here. But to get a better measurement, what you need to do is you take this average. I'm gonna hit stop. You take this average, and then you're gonna subtract what we had stored before. So when you go to display difference, we're gonna take the memory what we store, and then mine. Actually, we're gonna take this current average and minus the memory, and that is the frequency response of the circuit that um of this LC circuit, and it matches our spice simulation. Let me shut off the average channel, and this is what you have. Your incoming signal is zero. You get a peak at 97, 97, hertz, 97 kilohertz, and it droops down, and it writes all the way out. That's it for this time.